more subscribers, you should check him out. His studio setup is awesome. It's beautiful. They had so much stuff in there. I think there was a Novation, base station, some stuff. Actually, when I first got to his channel, uh, I got off topic. When I first got to his channel, I wasn't even really listening. I spent like the first half an hour eating his gear list. <laughs> some of it, I was like, what's that thing? What's that thing? I hope my stream doesn't crash or anything. Anyways, if you guys missed earlier, 12, we got a makeup show for Transomnia, which crashed last night. Uh, but between now and then, all kinds of crazy stuff's gonna happen. I'm gonna weigh my pounds. As you guys know, that's my thing. Gonna do some of that so that I get it out of my system before I have to go slow and quiet for Transomnia. For Transomnia. For Transomnia. So, where's our echo? Everything's off tonight, and I think you will. You might maybe know why. Yeah, someone's missing. Someone's missing. Someone's missing. Someone's missing. Someone's missing. I think uh, you probably, probably have noticed that uh, I'm missing. Well, I guess, uh, guess our host, uh, the girl with no name, uh, is in a an absentia today. <laughs> Uh, actually, I would have been here sooner, but I spent like the past hour looking for her. Seriously, it's missing. I, I'm not kidding. I actually wish this was a skit. <laughs> so, the girl with no name, I somehow, she's on turn off. And, uh, I'm gonna talk later about why that kind of troubles me a little bit. Let's see. She's actually kind of on a part of the show. And, uh, Anyways, this is so pleasant for we've tested Kevin Lake, of course you know Kevin Lake. Oh my goodness, we've tested him with you. Okay. Kevin. Okay. 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 Yeah. So you guys get to see a preview of that. Then we're gonna paint. Paint pouch is gonna be 
like crazy, and you're like, I heard this guy is some sort of nice fingers on her. Oh yeah, you heard me with this one. You'll see it. Anyways. Oh, oh, there's this thing I wanted to, I wanted to get on camera with the 202 for 202 person. Special treat for you. I've been doing straining techniques and stuff, and I've been, I had this sucker for 10 years, so believe me, I got him. Welcome to Die Master Monkey. Thank you.
Megan Mom. Megan Mom, what?
I just love I just love drum I just love drum battle. Okay, who do I battle? The other guy. You know the one that loses. I just love drum battle. I just love drum battle. I just love drum battle. Okay, who do I battle? The other guy. You know the one that loses.
Sorry about that, viewers, if you couldn't see me for a while there. Uh, uh, important announcement here. Uh, that was the poem Apesma by uh, Captain Beefheart, also known as Van V. Don Van Vliet. We're looking here at the biography by Mark Barnes. You find it on Omnibus Press. They are not an official sponsor, but neither is reality. And we tolerate them both. Okay. And uh, you should certainly know about Captain Beefheart. He's an avant garde superhero. Um, hero super. So oh, I have 15 minutes left. I really meant to. There was some other stuff I was going to talk about, or I was going to show you something. Oh, there was the 202. I wanted to get a 202 tip. Yet another, I think maybe my fifth or sixth. I'm collecting them. I'm going to compile them all into one video, post them on YouTube, and <coughs> and be done with it. And then I can say I have given my contribution back to the SP community. I've lived with these little suckers for many, many years. This, well, not this one, of course, as you guys know, only had this since August. Uh, but the 202 I've had for many years, and it's, um, it's really cool. Actually, maybe I should do that until it's an hour right now. There's something else, though. I had something written down. I said we're going to have some surprises for the Don't Tell Me. I'll see you around for that. What the heck is this? That'll be cool. And this, oh my goodness, it just gets weirder all the time. And, uh, I have uh, got another announcement. Girl with no name, if you're out there, we miss you. And uh, we're biding our time till you get the thing, anyways. Some of you probably noticed what time my hands are set to. All right. Uh, oh, I also got a new microphone and headphones and stuff too. It's cool. I might gotta set that stuff up now. Uh, so she will be getting a little better. It'll be cool. I'll be able to use both hands and talk. Oh, yeah, not doing really doing much of the speed drumming tonight. Oh, I actually several times just instantly fell into drone sort of stuff, or at least on tempo. If you're uh, if you knew, you don't know yet that I'm schizophrenic, so <laughs> you literally don't know what you're going to get either. Either like neither do I ever, pretty much ever. Also, uh, I haven't said I took a I took a pain pill for my back earlier, so this could be a really interesting show. I'm glad it's not one of the, um, the the beat shows, like Friday or Saturday night, it's all beats, and I have very demanding, very high demands on myself for those. I expect the beat to go pretty much the whole time, and uh, or at least you cover real well. Man, we got some crazy crap out of the boot there. By the way, it's not that I do not know how to use it, it's that, that I, I don't know, I'm not intimately familiar with the boot itself as yet, I've only had that also since... August and working it and figuring it out in a live improv thing is like a lot of fun so I like doing that but also pretty unpredictable so sometimes there's crazy stuff out of it. Uh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey. Excellent. Emilio215. You're awesome. You uh... You know, I think he's saying that the vocal levels are are down, or maybe the whole audio levels are down. Man, maybe someday I should, like, we'll sketch out my audio signal path here. It's pretty, it's, pre it's really good, like I said, up until the, <coughs> up until the stream, and then it goes total Ruth Goldberg uh, stuff. So, again, the poem, not mine, Captain Beefheart, also known as Don Van Vliet, poem called Apesma. I believe it's from the album Bat Chain Puller, or possibly his other hit, Lick My Decals Off Baby, available at fine retailers. Thank you so much, Emilio215. Oh, goodness, man, somebody get that guy a drink. Uh, that You can't imagine how... I really can't tell. I mean, I, I actually can't go over to another computer and check it, and I don't even have the bandwidth for that anyways. So, Brute was blast. Thank you, Brute. And we're going to bring you back in about... Uh, 10, 15 minutes here for drone som, uh, where's that? drone somnia, 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 somnia. Yeah. Actually, I usually use a shorter delay. Drone som, 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 som. Yeah, that's good. All right. Um, so, 
But it'll be cool. I got these new. Also from the donor, I got these cool new headphones and stuff. It's going to be nifty. Uh, so the show's going to improve. Uh, noted you'll hear the special Halloween edition of Sonic Monkey. The Sonic Monkey Spooky, which has like Halloween flavor background drum stuff. Tell you the truth, I don't like it as much as the, the other one, but uh, I might switch back to back and forth. Okay, something I was going to show on the 202, just because I was, I've been meaning to compile these tips and stuff. Like I said, it's not that I'm brilliant. Um, it's just that I've used it for a long time, and I use it completely differently, just like I do everything completely differently. Because uh, uh, I throw out the manual, like, right away, and I just figure things out. Uh, the chat delay is long. Uh, oh, that's okay. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. God, this guy's great. Oh, I get it. Yeah, he says that the chat... No, that's the screen. I screwed up the screen somehow at some point. But I'm like, well, I could screw up my hands fixing it. Or I could just go back to this. Crap, I'm doing it alri again already. Hold on. We don't have time for that. It's ten minutes to drone somnia. There's stuff I wanted to show you. So I hope you guys stick around for Drone Somnia because that's honestly the funny thing is um, I'm not sure if everybody gets it. Actually, I think my I'm sure the regulars do and all you lurkers out there. I love you guys. But, um, I'm sure you guys get it. Drone Somnia and my beat shows, they're the same shows, guys. <laughs> it's just Drone Somnia is really slow. Like really slow on the order of like 20 BPM or something. And my beat shows are like 150 BPM and above. Because, um, cause like I said before, it's schizophrenic. So, uh, new people, if you haven't turned in, uh, you probably figured out by now. Master Monkey is not quite, uh, not at all, like any other show actually anywhere. There might be some avant-garde weirdos doing this elsewhere, I'm sure there are actually. But not on Twitch. I'm certainly the only one to do it on Twitch. And I'm not boasting, I'm just saying... What the heck is a guy like this doing here? And uh, we could have that discussion sometime if you want. But uh, that's not it. So, my point here is... Master Monkey is a performance. Okay? So, um... Uh, we're, we're not like, uh, you know... Um, uh, well, we could be like picking out songs or whatever, but I don't do that because that would bore me. And uh, and we're not like uh, playing playing like loops like this. I mean, I might use something like that for backing, but you'll see. Yeah, things change like every 30 seconds, 60 seconds, something. I get bored. 120 seconds, I'm, I'm out of my mind. I'm like, something's got to change. So we don't have like patterns that go over and over again or something. And as a result, you'll be like, hey, this isn't very danceable or something. I mean, it might be if you're crazy enough. Um, and you should be. But, uh, so, uh, I'm not like, um, I wouldn't say I do the best that I can, because I, of course, I'm doing the best that I can, but I'm not aiming ever for hip-hop or drum and bass or jungle or even music <laughs> or drone or noise or anything. It's all avant-garde improvisation to me. And so I was just baking stuff from everywhere, you know, jazz influences, electronic music influences, and, you know, beef heart, you know, uh, just everything, anything, everything that's cool long as it's cool. Korean pop music from the 60s is cool. Opera's cool. Those vocals, really great. Cellos. Uh, a timers ripped out of cars that make really awesome, really awesome sounds. We might have to mic the shit out of it, but trust me, things worth it. It's beautiful. Yeah. Anyways, so stuff like that. And I, I don't usually talk this much. I've been talking more lately because, um, uh, cause, well, you know, this isn't, this isn't really a permanent, completely permanent project, so I want to make sure that things are wrapping up properly. So we're getting the... Um, I have a tip for you for the 202. Another tip from the monkey for your 202 brothers out there. And uh, this may apply to other... Lofa samplers and other samplers uh, which have polyphony limitations and stuff like that. If you paid attention to the previous uh, episode, if you saw one on the replay, maybe. These are all on YouTube, by the way. Just look for Die Master Monkey. I'm on Instagram now, too, by the way. And apparently 50 Second Clips is perfect for Die Master Monkey. Anyways, one of the things we, we covered was uh, was this, actually. 
uh, you can use the limited poly farm and whip through this so use the replay okay I'm even going to turn off the monkey so you get a clear oh clear um, okay polyphony on the 202 is severely limited when you have a sample playing that has a filter on I'm going to turn the volume down when you have a sample playing that has the filter on and you hit another sample that has the filter on uh, it will turn off the first one see see what we're doing here so when I hit it back and forth so this tr that turns this one on and then when I hit this one it turns that one off it, it's like ah, I hate that but actually you can use it because then you can switch real quick like this get it so that's cool um, that also brings something else which I already covered the retriggered if you think but I'll just show it to you and you'll figure out what's going on because it's based on what I just said right there um, know what's going on there right it's just happening real fast it's the same thing just faster everything's the same thing just faster just keep going faster <laughs> uh, and uh, okay so anyways that I already covered and that's why I worked through it just now because there's something else I wanted to show you that is uh, not that okay mark tricks now I'm not trying to insult anybody mark tricks are standard they're a big thing and uh and the thing I'm just going to run through some mark techniques that may or may not have been covered elsewhere because I'm the monkey and I do everything differently uh, totally freaking differently so usually um, anyways I, I call it differently other people usually tell me I'm doing it wrong I'm like whatever that's why I'm the monkey instead of something else so mark tricks basic mark trick 101 looping this stuff like on a rhythm so handy right like this Yeah, it's going to take it. you got to have rhythm, right? So you got to hit it right at the right time. Not like that. That was <laughs> the wrong time. you got to watch out for the end of Okay, so we got that down, right? You, you got that deal already. But um, there's something you can do with that, actually, is really cool, is this. Uh, okay, so actually, I'll do it with this. It's, it's more fun with this. Uh, and uh, more fun with the filter. Hold on, I'm going to have to put down the mic, though. a little way that you can you know then that that's just using one pad and one sample so that you don't have to have like samples or a bunch of different stuff actually that's a basic technique really it's just uh, especially that you pick up on the 202 because you have such limited polyphony every sample has got to be used like every way from Sunday forwards like backwards uh, as a gate you know like how can I use it as a gate was it useful for that maybe if I cut the cut the you know cut a piece of it off or something like that 
when I use it like that. It's good. Now it's a drum. You get what I mean? Because it's a pain in the butt to upload samples. I just love it. drum battle. And the old bugger. So I you'll just use any piece. Um, and then use these techniques to see how you can apply them to the task at hand. Um, okay, so there's the 202 thing. I need to disclaim that's a master monkey loop. You guys need that. 11.58. Jonesomnia starts in two minutes. We will begin Jonesomnia. I wish I had a girl to do that voice. If you're one of my lurkers and you're a girl and you send like a recording of your voice or something like that saying Jonesomnia or something, you'll be my most favorite person in the world. Oh, by the way, if any of you want to write me, you write me to lofi monkey at, uh, wait, where the hell am I? Lo-fi monkey at gmail.com. Why was I going to say White House? I was planning ahead. Right, right, me at the White House. <laughs> Contact my club for full remuneration, madam. Okay, two minutes to drone somnia. I'm glad you guys are here, even if you aren't, um, because I do this kind of stuff anyways. I've been doing this for ages. I just did it quietly, and I recorded it, and I stuck it in the garage, and it's still there. And uh, then the tape recorder and my mini disc recorder broke, and uh, I started doing this instead because it's kind of the same thing, but with video it's nice, so I didn't have to listen to people say, no way, whatever. So um, it's all on film. Um, all the evidence is on film. Special update, if you weren't here earlier, the girl with no name is actually in absentia. She's missing in action. It's not a skit. I seriously can't find her. <laughs> I wish it were a skit. I was going to talk about that. Oh, I'm glad. Maybe I have one minute to talk about that. Because I, I was talking about creative techniques uh, on another show, and I found out people really like that. Even on Instagram, people are like, hey, man, this is cool. So anyways, the girl with no name. Uh, I miss her being here just because I should use a voice changer. Mm, that's fun. Yay. Okay, so. Do I miss her? Uh, like just because I'm a crazy person, or is it a skit sort of thing? No, uh, actually, I mean I do. I am a crazy person, uh, but it's not a skit actually. I mean, it's funny, but but actually, the girl with the no name and cowboy Mike and you guys actually to a large extent and the, and the lighting here and the everything, all part of this, in this little area of the studio, is really a, a mnemonic device to put my mind in a state of doing this. And it's not that those things are magic. It's not that they did that. It's not like the, the girl with the picture of the girl with no name or Cowboy Mike is a plastic cowboy toy. I just happened to have, it was on the ground near here and I needed something so I put him up here. And that was like a thing. So, um, there are, there are mnemonic devices, right? So when, I, when I'm when i sitting here and I see Cowboy Mike, and uh, I may be doing other things, but you know how humans are super smart. And, uh, and they back my, my peripheral vision and, and elsewhere. I'll, I'll, I'll see on replay, so I'll see Cowboy Mike is there, right? See, so, so over time, I'll begin to associate Cowboy Mike with this, this stuff that we do here. All of this, the drumming and the speed going up and up, which is why I've become a whole crazy thing. It was not even a thing originally. I just wanted to add it to my repertoire. Um, all of this stuff, that this kind of thinking, the thinking about sound, the way that we uh, throw out, the way that I throw out the rolls um, here, this is all to put that in the state of mind. I've been using this trick for many years, by the way. It's a great trick. So this is why I'm telling it to you. It's not only about how you do it. Uh, you just... Uh, uh, and there are other versions of the same trick. I, I'll just pick a thing and be like, you know, I'm just going to make that part of this space. It's representative of that space. And then I only do this one thing in this space. It's not like I sit here and eat lunch. I don't, I don't do anything else over right here. Only this. It's reserved for this one thing. Whatever I'm sitting here, the lights are from behind me. There's a blue light. There's cowboy mic. I, I got the wires and the lights. It's go time. It's monkey time. Um... And after doing it so many times, I, I don't have to force myself into it. It just just happens, right? I sit down, bam, it's like, uh, and you know what this is. It's brainwashing. I'm brainwashing myself. This is a standard uh, technique anyways. I mean, if people know, like artists know, you know, like you have an area of your studio where you do your painting, you don't do other stuff there because it would mix it up. You know, like all kinds of things happened in this area. 
Not just that time I made the great painting, or the time I made the painting that was so horrible that I broke down into tears. You know, or not those things, there were other things, there were like discussions about marriage, taxes, or who knows what. So, you don't want those associations. There's only just the one thing here, it's a program, programming my mind for art. Okay, I guess we got about as much out of that. I just, I wanted to impart that. I didn't invent this, I maybe might have really sort of optimize it for this particular application but uh, you could read about these various sorts of techniques um, books about art and creativity so I do miss the girl with no name it's going to change the it's going to change the sound the sound actually it definitely will change the sound I'm going to replace her with uh, well not replace not not of course never replace what like it's more like uh it's just stand in a temporary stand in who's to stand in for uh yeah anyways a stand in okay oh i miss her we'll get a different sound now sound will all be associated with who are you anyways we don't know welcome everybody to joe insomnia uh please Place your tray tables in their upright locked position. The uh, captain has extinguished the no smoking sign. We will be cruising at an altitude of chill and down tempo for approximately 60 minutes. Thereafter, we may we actually like back into beats or something even crazier. You never know what might happen around here. So stay tuned. Shoutouts to everybody. We're making special shoutouts for Instagram. Thank you very much. You guys have been so nice to me. And uh, and uh, my lurkers. I just found a bunch of my. Oh, and, uh, thank you. Uh, that's a big one. Uh, I really love you guys. Uh, this has been great. And, uh, I almost don't want it to end. But all the things <laughs> must Insomnia. We'll be cruising at an altitude of chill, down tempo, and going for at least one hour. Tray tay 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 Hello, welcome to Die Drone Somnia. Thank <laughs> you.
Hello, welcome to
you. Hello. Welcome, Welcome to Die Master Monkey. Thank you.
back here.
so I hope you enjoyed some of that. I'm doing my best to ensure it comes to all of it. I need to say, I packed the levels actually on the brick of the last night that I was stupid. Why did I bring it back? There was no need. It was an unnecessary risk and I paid the price. Um, everything was going smoothly. We could have had a nice clean play out. Don't move reach. So, uh, usually I close out the show and, uh, and then often I'm like tapped out. But I've been trying to be a little, do a more outreach, so I'm going to read the chat here. Let's see. Thanks for coming in. Emilio215 also gave me, uh, Emilio215 um, uh, also gave me information about, he's, uh, he's in the chat here. Oh, oh. That's good. I reminded, just reminded myself. Then I should, um... I should read. I should read the, um... Uh, read the chats to people. I mean, what if they're, like, listening, you know, or they, uh, they can't see you in the other room or something like that. And they're like, what's he talking about? So I always figure people should read what's on the screen, so... For you listeners out there, here's what's on the screen. Uh, we're gonna go through the screen. Says Emilio215. Oh, I'm not sure if I should read people's usernames. I'm just going to give them short names. Emilio2. Emilio guy says, he says that's rough, which is good because he came to tell me the volume is bad, I think. Uh, but it's cool. The rest is good. He said it's creepy, which I no longer take as an insult. It's Halloween, anyways. Uh, Halloween. No, this is not our Halloween show. <laughs> this is our regular show. I haven't even, uh, we haven't even set up for Halloween yet. <laughs> this is the regular show. Um, you follow ghost? Never heard of ghost box. I'll check him out though. Something about ghost box. Check him out. He says it's kind of cool or something. Something like a dark side of psychedelia. Ooh, I like it already. Um, <coughs> let's see. A uh, little bugger. Yeah, it's cool. So we got some. Do you guys want background sound or something? Somebody give me a shout out to y'all television set. I, have this, I like to have some sort of background sound, but I've, I've discovered that I don't think it really suits when you're talking. It's just not a good fit. Uh, people don't like it. Alright, maybe that's okay. Okay. Little bugger, what is this thing? So, yes, I've been circuits. On the back it says... Oh, four. <laughs> uh, by Die Master Monkey. Little bugger, no four. Dark Master Monkey. It's some kid's toy or something. It's supposed to make noises. It does a good job at that. And uh, as you can see, it has been subjected to some form of indignity. Yeah. But he's learned to live with it, actually. He uh, kind of has made it part of himself. He likes to think of it as part of what makes him unique as an individual. The reason that he deserves a name like a name like a little bugger you know he's got brothers and sisters all made in the same factory none of them have names he's just they're just thing one thing two right and you got to earn a name so he's got it he's got his name and uh, he got it when uh, when we circuit the name now an instrument uh, instrument like this uh, it's very simple because it doesn't have a whole lot of features that you could bend. Uh, so, in this case, we just get a body contact for a pitch bend, and the rest of the musicality or expressiveness is going to rely on how you use the instrument. So, uh, th in this case, if you touch these two things, it sort of changes. It's difficult to work with one hand. Let's try, we're going to set up for two hand operation. We'll a quick little bugger demo.
was kind of fun. So about the surface noise there, that was that must have been pretty rough. Uh, I don't usually set the mic on anything hard like that. Uh, you know, I was about to I was about to protect myself from accusations of being a crappy circuit bender, but you know, I don't think I bother with those things anymore. Why put I prove or whatever? I don't care. Crap. Think what you like. I've been doing this for a really long time. All of this I've been doing for a really long time. Why would you hear me? Because I'm a freaking underground artist. That's what we call underground artist. Or if you actually, it seems like hip hop on popular music kind of they've taken away that they've kind of called the uh, underground their own. I guess it's their term now, but I'm not going to argue about that. Fine. But uh, so and artists had to had to retreat to the term outsider art. So uh, I guess I'm an outsider artist, which means I don't care about the magazines or the stuff, or the sharing and all that kind of uh, sites. Or I never did actually until Master Monkey, which was my experiment to see what would happen if I did give it a crap <laughs> and actually reach out into the world and see if there was something I could contribute. And I'm not sure if I have, only time will tell. But, uh, stuff I hope will move over been great. You guys like it. I was, I was trying to kill time here so I could think if I could do some beats or something, but I don't know, man, those beats were pretty funky. Like I told you, I took it back home, bro. <laughs> and, uh, I didn't think it would affect me, but uh, those were some weird rhythm. It sort of suited for, you know, not really that great for beats. Uh oh, your acid must be kidding you. That's wanted to say before you guys wander off um, Halloween uh, it's going to be a big show we got some uh, special stuff planned for you I really hope that if you ever liked any of the shows you should come to that show because it's going to be a special one and uh, like I said these are they're, you know it's not like uh, a programmed or anything like that uh, um, you know Master Monkey is a performance and the whole thing so uh, you only get to see it uh, once, you know, if you you don't come to the other side of the show, then you can see it on the replay. I mean, I guess the video's experience is already right. kind of not quite the same now, because you can't get to see me, like, screw up live in real time, or, or, like, magically, accidentally stumble across something fantastic. Both of these happen quite often, right? Usually one right after the other. So, uh, I really appreciate you guys tuning in. If I haven't said enough, you really mean a lot to me. Keep your eyes open for the, uh, you know, what's her name? We're not supposed to mention her no name. How do you not mention someone by their not name? But uh, Cowboy Mike's been a little sensitive about the issue. So keep your eyes open for her. I'll bring some more. I'll bring some more advanced circuit band goodies back next time or something. I don't know. It'll be cool, man. Uh, you can check my stuff on YouTube, Die Master Monkey. I got uh, sugar bent stuff, I got synth stuff, I got all kinds of stuff. But it's all, it's all this basically. It's all monkey. Improv, analog, uh, freestyle, real time, on camera. One time. One time only. And then it's gone. <laughs> Good night, y'all. <laughs>